lacrimal gland has superior and lateral on the eye. So since you know it's lateral, this is the lateral rectus, which deflects the eyeball lateral. Medial rectus deflects the eyeball medial, like toward the nose. Superior rectus rolls the eyeball up. Inferior rectus rolls the eyeball down. On the lateral side, here's one called the inferior oblique. It rolls the eyeball superior and lateral, so up and lateral. This tendon of the superior oblique rolls the eyeball down and lateral. So it's the four extrinsic muscles in the eye. The fibrous tunic, the outside tunic, consists of two parts. The white of the eye, which is called the sclera, and the clear transparent cornea. that up. You can see on uh, this model the inside lining is orange on another one is blue-gray. The inside lining is the neural tunic, that's your retina, so it has the rods and cones on it. The vascular tunics between, in between this retina, are the neural tunic and the fibrous tunic. It's in between, so this brown layer is in between, all this is in between. We're going to label those. So, these finger like structures here are called ciliary processes. At the base of the processes, a jagged base is called the aura serrata. This muscle is a sphincter muscle, goes all the way around. It's called the ciliary muscle. Ciliary muscle, ciliary processes make up the ciliary body. This is the back of the iris. You can see it's heavy <coughs> pigment in black, and so is the covering of the ciliary processes. And so is it, it's brown. The inside lining of the eye of this vascular tunic is called the choroid coat. Heavily pigmented coat to absorb light. The front of the iris can be whatever color, blue, green, brown, whatever. In the middle of the iris is a hole called the pupil. In between the front of the iris and the back of this cornea where I'm sticking my stick in there is a chamber, the anterior chamber. Between the back of the iris and this lens, there's another pocket called the posterior chamber. Those two chambers make up the anterior cavity Behind this lens is the posterior cavity. Posterior cavity is filled with vitreous humor. The anterior cavity, these two chambers, are filled with aqueous humor. What you can't see on this model are some little white things right here, which would be suspensory ligaments that go around this lens and they help to reshape the lens. We'll look at those in lecture a little more. Um, this model doesn't show it either, but there's some. There's a vein here. It's going to be right here and right here. And it goes all the way around. It collects the aqueous humor. It's called the scleral venous sinus. It's a vein that collects all the aqueous. It's constantly being made, constantly being drained off. The vitreous, it's not made, I mean, it's made at a very, very slow rate, but it's, it's, it's like a jello back here, so it's not drained off. On the orange model, this is the macula lutea, where your critical vision occurs, and it's sitting on top of a dent called the fovea centralis, which you cannot see on this model. This number 16 is pointing to what they're going to call the optic nerve leaving. Well, this model goes to an old, this goes to an old model, and the old model is just like this, and this is a reproduction of the retina also, so it has, it's a redundant thing on that model, retina, retina, because you can see on this one, there's the macula lutea right there, it's a yellow spot, 
And you can see a little ring there sitting on top of the fovea centralis. Here's the optic nerve leaving. And where it leaves around the base is the blind spot. Okay, so you see lots of stuff. Um, I think that's it.